Here we are with a 2014 Mercedes GL450 and from a distance it looks like it's beautiful and it's on a scale of 1 to 10 it's about a 9. As we get closer we realize that the black is really I would almost say it's dull gray black and it has a lot of issues on the hood you can see the scratches and the, the washing marks it has several chips and we're gonna make the hood look much better we're gonna have to touch up the chips and we're gonna take it from a probably a five or a six and get it back to be at least a nine that's better than what it is right now and the owner will be the new owner will be impressed because he recently bought this car a couple days ago and in my opinion whoever owned it before kind of abused it and didn't really care so let's keep on going around the vehicle and you'll pick up scratches here and there and while we're at it let's look up and just see we're in the permanent finish section before and after hood and this is a before vehicle and let's look at this best I can figure it looks like it's fingerprints embedded in the paint so to speak uh, it was washed and it, whatever it is didn't come off so let's see what we're gonna do in the permanent finish section and make this vehicle look a whole lot better so when cars get like this it's like disappointing disappointing to the car because it doesn't represent the person driving it it's supposed to look magnificent so the person who's driving it feels good and smiles so until we're done with it till tomorrow okay we're back we're back to the 2014 Mercedes GL 450 that we videoed yesterday before we permit finish it permit finish is a liquid process that goes into the paint and bonds to the paint and penetrates the clear coat and goes into the color and that's what makes it uh, shine and bond by bonding it can't come off so what we're looking at now is the totally different car compared to yesterday it was no longer grayish black it is shiny black and the chips on the hood have been touched up so now it's all one black color and it looks like a new car and the smudges that were on the side which were more or less buried damage tree sap damage that wasn't really this vehicle really wasn't taken care of by the previous owner and very probably very rarely washed it so back here yesterday remember there was a a nice gouge above the GL on the 450 insignia and right now it's uh, looks phenom phenomenal by the way while I'm here let's give you a, a shot of a of a boat display to let you know that this process works chemically on any paint and it penetrates the surface and bonds to the molecular structure of the resins in the paint and it, that's why it can't come off so everything else known to mankind it sits on top whether it's ceramic silicone Teflon and in time that comes off here it's bonded to it and can't come off so every time you're gonna wash this vehicle in the future it's gonna look like you just waxed it and that's the idea to make a person happy just drive his car wash it every once in a while well not once in a while probably should wash it at least once a week to keep it up and when you do that maintain it we warranty for six years that it won't lose its luster but i've been doing this for over 20 and i know cars that have been done 20 years ago and still look phenomenal and that's why people keep on coming back and bring their relatives cars and their friends and any other car they purchase because they want to protect the vehicle 
against the elements and the idea is to take care of the car and protect your investment. That's it.